Hey everyone, it's Mike. I review nootropics and I talk personal development. And during this video, we're going to talk about Yohimbind HCL, which is a very popular supplement specifically used for fat loss as well as promoting a euphoria. Some people like it as a nootropic to improve their mood and help with productivity, whereas other people really like it for achieving a level of leanness they wouldn't be able to get without it. But there are a couple of warnings which come with this supplement. It's very tricky, very hit or miss. So let this video be your guide. We're going to discuss what is Yohimbind, how how to take it. We're going to discuss the dosage, the side effects, and then stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll share the exact protocol I use with Yohimbine HCL in order to get down to 8% body fat. This is the Yohimbine Hydrochloride. It's from a brand called Primaforce. Quite honestly, I think the brand is discontinued because this product does have some bad side effects that we'll talk about later. So how it works, the bark of Yohimbe has a primary medicinal ingredient called Yohimbine HCL. It's like a stimulant. As we browse on examine.com, we can see all kinds of benefits from erections, there's a number of studies showing that it does help to decrease fat mass. Like in this pretty famous study here, what they did was they took 20 soccer players and for 21 days they were using either Yohimbine or they were using a placebo. And the group of soccer players that were taking 20 milligrams of Yohimbine daily actually experienced a high amount of body fat mass lost while not experiencing any side effects or not having any changes in their soccer performance. As far as the benefit of improving your sex drive is concerned, I've not really noticed any change. Even on this bottle here, it says helps to promote sexual wellness. I've tried a number of dosage schemes, trying it fasted, trying it in the middle of the day, but there has been no signs of increased libido or increased testosterone. However, when it comes to reducing your body fat, I do really think that this is a very powerful supplement to use at the later portion of your dieting phase. So for somebody that is maybe like 15% body fat or 20% body fat plus, this is probably not a good idea to use because likely through diet and exercise and making sure that you're in a calorie deficit, you can already achieve that weight loss. However, when it comes to the stubborn body fat areas, like for men, it seems to be like lower back and obliques. For females, it's hips, thighs, and on their triceps. That's where Yohimbine is a very powerful supplement because what fat cells are comprised of are alpha receptors and beta receptors and our most stubborn areas like those areas which just won't go away no matter how much cardio or how much dieting you do they're all full of these alpha receptors of which yohimbine really works well with and then its other really neat use is yohimbine as a nootropic to improve your focus and actually improve your mood quite significantly i found that yohimbine along with caffeine it really does give me this mood boost. I would even find myself like more courageous to initiate in a conversation that would typically discomfort me a little bit. And as we browse, we can see this post says they've had some of their best months while ingesting caffeine and Yohimbine and they specifically did experience the euphoria and the confidence and the social improvements. But the reason why I don't really talk about Yohimbine too much or recommend it with people is because if you have any like slight anxiety or you're prone to having panic attacks, I would definitely not recommend it. As a matter of fact, Yohimbine Yohimbine is known to actually increase anxiety. However, from my experience, it just kind of gives you like this good anxiety that you're concerned about things, but in a way which still allows you to be productive and get things done. It's not really like an anxiety that makes you too much in your head, more so like a physiological anxiety where I'm more likely to like bite my nails, for instance. This fitness enthusiast said they used Yohimbine HCL during their last contest prep and it worked great for them. However, once they had mistakenly taken too much of it and they said their heart rate was insane high and they even had to leave their gym without doing anything in the weight room which was terrible so for that reason be especially mindful to how much you're taking I would definitely recommend that you start with the lowest dose possible as you can to assess your tolerance these capsules here are 2.5 milligrams each of which it says that the supplement facts that a serving size is two capsules which equals five milligrams but the most common dosage scheme is taking 0.2 milligrams for every kilogram of weight you have, or even some people say for every kilogram of lean body mass that you have. So let's take a 175 pound male, that equals about 80 kilograms, and if we multiply that by 0.2, that equals 15.9, so that would be about six of these capsules. This is something very commonly used for females as well. Let's say they wanna get in shape for a specific event, like a wedding, or again, for contest prep if they're bodybuilding. So if we were to take a 120 pound female, that would be equal to approximately 55 kilograms of which would mean that a good dosage for them would be 10.9 milligrams of the Prima Force Yohimbine. There's a few really important things you understand about Yohimbine. First, in order to feel it, 
you need to be fasted. It will not do anything for you as far as fat loss is concerned if you take it with calories or even if you take it like an hour following your last meal. What happens is when you eat, it spikes your insulin levels and it's known that Yohimbine only works when there's no insulin present in the bloodstream. So ideally you wanna take it fasted like first thing in the morning or if that's not practical for you, I would definitely recommend that you at least wait like about two and a half hours from your last meal until you ingest Yohimbine. A couple of supplements which Yohimbine goes very, very well with. One being caffeine and the other being L-tyrosine. L-tyrosine is an amino acid known to somewhat stimulate you. I've made a comprehensive video, which I will link over here. And particularly when you pair these three supplements together, caffeine, yohimbine, and L-tyrosine, you can really see incredible results as far as fat loss is concerned. However, though, this is really important. I can't emphasize it enough. Do not take it with ephedrine. Don't even take it with any other medicine, especially if it's like an antipsychotic or perhaps an antidepressant it significantly increases your blood pressure and as well as your heart rate. So there have been times when myself, I've used Yohimbine and I have felt absolutely awful. And as a matter of fact, I'm rarely using this stuff now. We aren't even talking about once per month. As far as building a tolerance is concerned, this is really neat because with most supplements out there, when you take them consecutively day after day, it seems you build a little bit of a tolerance to it. However, from my experience and from what I've read about Yohimbine, there's actually a buildup effect. So when you take it consecutively day after day, and that's when it really does start to show good results. But alongside with that, what's known with Yohimbine in terms of using it for its fat loss effects is experiencing holding more water weight than typically. So don't be surprised if you don't look how you necessarily want to look, but just trust the whole process and that when you get off of Yohimbine, wait about five, six days and you're going to drop that water weight, almost similar to how it is with creatine, and then afterwards be able to achieve that really hard vascular lean look. And now here's the specific protocol which worked for me. I will give a lot of credit to Lyle McDonald for publishing this amazing book called The Stubborn Body Fat Solution. If you're looking to achieve leanness that you've never experienced before, I would highly recommend that you check out this book because there's a few different protocols and you may find one which may work best for you. Let's say if you're somebody that likes jump rope or you're somebody that likes the stair climber or you prefer, let's say, high intensity interval training rather than low intensity cardio, you'll find the way to which use your himbine best. So through the information in that book, I came up with this specific protocol that worked for me. And this is something I would do two to three times per week. What I would do was take 200 milligrams of caffeine, the same dosage of Yohimbine HCL, which I mentioned, 0.2 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, and one gram of L-tyrosine. Then I waited about half an hour for all the stimulants to start working and be at their peak concentration for me to be able to get the best workout possible. Then I would do about a five minute easy warm up, followed by 30 minutes of low intensity steady state cardio. What that looks like is like a mild jog on the treadmill or perhaps like a light skip, I like jump rope. And then that was followed by a five minute cool down period. And then immediately afterwards, I would just take a small protein shake, like about 30 grams of whey isolate. However, if you are intermittent fasting and you prefer to prolong your fast and not eat anything there afterwards, then that's fine too. I um, really hope you found this information helpful. That's your Hembine HCL. If you did, then please consider subscribing. Give the video a like and comment below what are your thoughts on your Hembine HCL. And I will look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care guys.